What's going on everybody? It's Thursday, June 2nd, and this is my Mercedes experience. So, what do I mean when I say my Mercedes experience? Well, if you haven't seen the video yet, make sure to check it out. I'll, I'll uh, link it in the description. This is going to be in regards to that video that I posted uh, probably a couple months ago on Facebook. And uh, it got a few hits in there, hits here and there. Uh, but have a look at that before you go on with the video. If you already know what it is about, then keep watching. So as you have clearly seen uh, the video, uh, some of you might think that it was uh, a little bit unnecessary for, uh, for the things I've said or uh, the video that I made and where I posted it, uh, but it had to be done. Um, now, of course, if it was just the water and the car got soaked in the back, uh, then of and it was, if it was just that, then I would make a big deal out of it. I'd complain in the store. I don't think I'd complain uh, on social media about it, but um, this is why it happened. So I dropped my car off on the Thursday uh, at around three three o'clock, and I also to I was going to pick it up on on the Friday to see because I was going out of the out of out of town and I need the car. And uh, it had a few issues here and there. I had a check engine light uh, probably about a few months ago about a uh, thermostat. Now I was like, okay, you know what? No big deal yet. Uh, it's not winter, but I want to get this checked out and see if they can fix the, all the issues under warranty. So I brought it in at uh, 3 p.m., got it all checked in, everything was awesome, perfect. And after that, I had to wait about an hour just to get my loaner. Now, that dealership does not provide their own loaners. They have a company that provides uh, provides you the loaner cars off-site. And that off-site office is about two blocks away. And they said that, they, they said that oh yeah, just have a seat. And one of the guys will just drive you over there and drop you off to get a car. Okay, perfect. Waited an hour just to get driven two blocks. I could have walked that way, but I wasn't didn't know exactly where it is or what's what, because I never usually go to that dealership. Um, so I was like, yeah, you know what, whatever. Uh, I had to wait a little bit longer. Uh, then I got the car, and of course the loaner car, blah blah. blah. Uh, but I wasn't a fan of the car that I got. But well, that's not gonna add on to my experience with them. So that's that's whatever. Second part. I get a call on Friday uh, saying that uh, yeah, not only that you have these issues, blah, blah blah. We can replicate the other issues. That's understandable. Uh, the third issue that I had, uh, they said it was a brakes issue, uh, which I don't understand how, how it would be the brakes since if they, they say that the brakes were really low and that's why they would be squeaking uh, really hard if you're reversing in a, and you're turning a certain way. But that. If the blow of brakes are really that low, that means that should be happening at every single time, right? But it, that was happening maybe once every few weeks, maybe once a month. So I was kind of like, whatever, whatever. You guys know you're, you guys know what you're doing. Blah blah blah. Uh, so none of the, the issues were covered under warranty. So I said, no, don't worry about it. Well, I'll do the work myself. I will pick up the car at 3:30 uh, again uh, today, and that's that. And that was, that call I got at 10 in the morning that day. So I had plenty of time to get my car ready. Then I get a call back about half hour later, around 10.30. And uh, I'll just remind that I have to pay the diagnostic fee. I say, okay, no big deal. I'll still pay the diagnostic fee and I'll pick it up around 3.30. Part three, this is where it gets interesting. So I come in at about 3.30, roughly about 3.30, maybe 3.25ish, whatever. Um, uh, I talk to the service advisor, she tells me what happened, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the issues that I had, they're not covered under warranty, so much would be cost to fix them, all that, all that stuff. Uh, so I pay, I go up to the cashier, I pay for the diagnostics fees, this and that, and just waiting to get my car keys, and the girl can't find my car keys. Uh, she says, oh, well, she told me, give me a few minutes, I'll find your car. Five minutes goes by, ten minutes go by, she says, I, we can't find your car. I'm like, okay, how hard is it to find a black Mercedes at your dealership? Well. It's a black Mercedes, so obviously it's going to be hard, but how hard is it to find a car in your dealership? Uh, especially a customer's car. Wait another 10 minutes, I get to say, oh, they're still looking for the car. Then like two minutes after that, after that I get uh, notified that says that, that the car oh, is just coming out of detail, out of the wash. Sure, okay, whatever. Obviously, I'm already a little bit annoyed about this whole thing, and I'm already running late. 
Then I get my yeah, I get my car keys. The car gets pulled out. She says, "Okay, so I'm up front. I go get it. Throw my bag on my uh, in my passenger side in my in the back seat. And I look across, and my whole right door is soaked. You can clearly see all the all the spots as you saw in the video. I was like, "Oh, okay. What's going on?" So I walked around, opened the door, and I was like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> so I was kind of as you can see the video I was kind of livid at that point I looked at the back looked at the front so at that point I went straight back to the advisor told her hey look you gotta come out and see this I showed this to her and her jaw dropped she could not believe what had to happen um, but and she she said that you know I can bring this back into the wash and be fixed right away at that point when you're at this at the boiling point when you're snapping right there you you, can, you don't really think straight, of course. Uh, and I was already running late, and I had to get get going on the spot. So I told her, you know what? Get in, get in touch with me later. We'll figure something. We'll figure a solution out. When I left, I just I was at that boiling point. I had to make that video. So, what happened from uh, for a solution? Well, I got notified. Well, I got a call from their service, one of their service managers or service advisor, I'm not too sure, that same day, about three or four hours later, uh, maybe maybe two hours later even, before I, um, uh, yeah, before I actually posted the video. We said, oh, you know, we want to do something, we want to fix this, uh, but I was getting heading out of town, so I told her, get in touch with me again a little bit later, like next week. She says, okay. Next week comes, she doesn't get in touch with me. Okay. By the time the video got a lot of hits, and, uh, their Mercedes Mercedes dealership was tagged in it. The other Benz dealership was tagged on the west side. So those few people from there got a hold of me. Uh, Mercedes Benz Canada uh, saw the video as well. And Monday morning of that next week, uh, Mercedes Benz Canada got a hold of me on the spot. Said they're investigating the issue, this and this. And uh, they'll get the manager to get in touch with me. And we'll go from there. We'll find a solution. At the same time, roughly about an hour and a half, maybe two hours later uh, I get a call from the other dealership my dealership that I always go to which is another side of the city from where I live and they got to give me a call I said yeah you know what we'll bring you in for service we'll look at your issues take care of your issues detail your car it's on us come on in uh, when uh, whenever you're free we'll schedule a date and we scheduled a date that same day which is awesome that really made my day because a dealership that was not even that didn't even cause those issues stepped out and fixed the other dealerships issue and made me happy on the spot so that was great uh, then of course I got uh, the manager from this other dealership that caused this issue uh, called me uh, a couple times we finally, we finally got a hold of each other and we found a solution we got to a reasonable solution so that's all resolved in this that and that and that uh, but from my thing I did not like the experience that happened to me there and I probably will not be going to the dealership ever again um, but this is not a slammer video or slamming video about a dealership uh, if you are watching this and you know which dealership that is feel free to go there your choice and then you might get a good experience you might not and the same thing with the other, other dealership that I go to it's personal preference honestly now I do want to give a big shout out to the Mercedes-Benz Empton West dealership. That's uh, the guys who take care of me and uh, they stepped up and they saw uh, what I what I ran into with the other dealership and uh, they, they really took care of me uh, without anybody asking them, which is awesome. And uh, I really want to thank their team. I want to thank uh, Victoria, the service advisor, who took care of me there, got all my issues fixed, uh, got my car in for service. Uh, I also want to thank Roly from their team um, he's the one that gave me calls, scheduled all my appointments, took care of me without me even asking or even asking for any help. And of course, the rest of their team, such as Sheldon Hurst, um, Evan, uh, I believe Chad, or uh, the general manager of service, the other service guys, all of you guys are the best people to deal with. Um, definitely, if you need, if you uh, want great service, if you're looking for a Benz or uh, or if you are getting into events, go see them. This is not a sponsored video. This is an honest uh, opinion about mine, of uh, the dealership that took care of me and how they took care of me. So big shout out to them, big props to them. That's what you call customer service on the spot. But with that said, 
that's it for this video if you have any crazy experience that you ever had with a car dealership or at any kind of experience you had please share them below I'd love to hear more uh, stories about others other pe people's experiences and I already heard a few and they're quite as bad at different places uh, in the world so have a good one and we'll see you guys next time